Hi, I'm Marika from My Creative Quilts and welcome to part two of my Irish Chain Sew Along. If you came across this video by accident, um, I'll put the link for part one down below so you can see what it's all about. But basically what I'm doing is a king size double Irish chain quilt for a wedding gift for somebody. She commissioned me to do it. So this part is going to be how I made the calculations of how big I wanted my blocks to be and how much fabric to buy. Okay, so first what we have is the Irish chain pattern. And I printed this out because it gives you a grid that you can color in if you want to. Uh, it doesn't matter what size, it's just to give you an idea of what it is that you're looking for. But I looked online to find different sizes of squares that I wanted to do. So this is considered a block, okay? The Irish chain block is like this. You have the, um, the tiny squares and then you have the larger fabric. So one thing to decide when you're trying to choose what size blocks you want is the fabric that you're using. So I found this which said that you can have 10 by 5 inch uh, blocks or you can have 20 by 10 inch blocks. So for me when I make that decision it depends on how busy the fabric is and how I want to highlight it. So if I was using just a plain fabric uh, on the further background either a white like this or something like that I would probably go with the smaller blocks because there's nothing I really want to highlight but if you saw the first video you'll know that the focus fabric that we're using is really quite busy so it's um a lovely oops sorry dropped something there it's a lovely fabric that um, the client bought but if we're going with only five inches that's not a lot of fabric to showcase because this is six inches and if you look just six inches itself is just that and you do see some of the colors but I find a lot of the effect is cut off so if I want it I think I want to go for a, by a 20 by 10 inch because 10 inches of this fabric gives you much more to look at and much more that you can do with when you're doing your quilting so that is why I decided that we would go with the larger blocks now we want to make a king size quilt. A king size quilt is generally about 98 by 106 inches. I don't want the whole thing to be Irish chain blocks. I want to do a nice border around it. So I took off eight inches and I took off six inches for the edges. And then this, that will be my Irish chain. So then what I just do is I just do a rough sketch on a piece of paper, very rough sketch. And so I try to see what that would look like. So. These are going to be 10 inches and these are going to be 20. So that's how many full blocks I'm going to have to have. Okay, and remember, this is a full block. Okay, so that is how I figure out how I'm going to do it. Then for um, how much fabric I have to buy, it's hard to find typical Irish chain patterns because it's such a common pattern. Usually you'll just find a block and you just figure out how many that you need. So um, when I found this pattern for a smaller double Irish chain, I figured it came up to 52 by 82. So the, the king size will be a little bit, not quite double that size, but I thought that was a good way to determine how much fabric that we need. So I just doubled the amount of fabric that we needed to buy. And I think that we'll have enough. So that's how I calculated um, how much, the, the size of the blocks that I wanna have how much pattern fabric I want to buy and um, it's really it seems a little intimidating when you have to throw the math in there and I do make a lot of mistakes I always have to double check and triple check and sometimes I'm still wrong but um, this one does seem to be quite quite easy in that respect so that's how I calculated it and um, for the next video we'll start cutting see you next time